All right, guys. Well, we finally got the trigger in from ALG. It's forty-six dollars ship, ship, including shipping. Ship straight to the door. Although it got caught in the snow, took forever to get here. As I ordered it two weeks ago, just got here today. Well, by the time you're watching it, it would be actually yesterday. All right, so this is the ALG QMS or Quality Mill Spec Trigger. Look at it. Now, the point of this particular trigger is that they have taken the time, all the pieces were polished down in all the correct places to basically cut out all the grittiness of your trigger um, plus all the parts are made to exacting specifications like um, the hammer and the trigger are 8620 alloy steel correctly tempered yada 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 uh, the, they use a lighter trigger spring but a full force hammer spring the pins da, 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 were, uh, oh yeah, made of a uh, 4140 chromoly steel and made, I think it is one thousandth thicker than normal to make sure there's a tight fit in your receiver. I mean, they, they went to great lengths to make sure that this trigger is mil spec but above mil spec. Uh, they said the trigger, the um, it will not uh, the trigger. It will be above the uh, required 5.5 pounds for mil spec, but greatly under the 9.5 pounds for the maximum. They say it's actually supposed to average around about six and a half pounds. See, they polished down parts, cut. Yeah, cut my finger. Cut down on uh, grit, so it's a nice smooth. So if you want the reliability of a mil spec trigger, but you want to take out the grittiness, here you go. Uh, set comes with, as you see here, hammer, trigger, disconnect, both pins, and both trigger springs. Like I said, $46 for a very quality part. That was worth it. Alright, so I'll also put all the further specs down below on the trigger you want to uh, read exactly so let me put this in the gun because this is going to go in Bridget my, my original AR I mean it's this is really nice I mean usually when you get when you look at a mil spec trigger it's all gritty and rough and it's just been coated this was uh, nicely made and then coated so uh, so far I'm quite pleased let me get it get it in the gun and uh, we'll see what's up. All right, guys. Well, it's in. And let me tell you, that is a smooth trigger. Very smooth. You know what? Let me put the upper back on. I'm gonna take it outside. We're gonna fire some rounds to it, and I'll tell you exactly how smooth. All right. Well, uh, we are out here with uh, Bridget do a test on the ALG trigger. Uh, and unlike I said in the video, on the next day, which would have been Friday, <laughs> it's actually uh, Wednesday. Got busy over the weekend, never got to this part. So, anyway, let's uh, take a few shots. Right, well, trigger worked great. Uh, $46 trigger, I couldn't be happier. That was very nice, very clean break, good reset. Very happy. Um, so I would highly recommend it. $46 for a really quality trigger. 
without having to get all fancy like a Geisley, Geisel, however the hell you pronounce it. Which those really are, those are really for bench guns, my personal opinion. It's something you're going to be sitting down at the bench and you want, you know, all that for something you might have to go to battle with. I don't think so. That would suck. Two stage trigger when shit hits the fan. That would really suck. Oh, and on a ladder note, so far, I like the stag bolt. It's working very nice in here. Got it in, uh, put in the, uh, my other nickel boron bolt carrier. That stag bolt carrier got is actually a little heavy. I didn't like the way it feels in the gun, so, uh, probably save that for the 6.8 project. That would uh, that would probably benefit from a heavier bolt carrier, so it'll still get used. Anyway, that and uh, God bless forty round P mags. Yeah, I know you New Yorkers can't get these, but look at that. It's it's like a banana banana clip for a friggin' AR. Anyway, ALG Defense quality mil spec trigger. I highly recommend it. Anyway guys, later. You're not afraid of the dark, are you?